While I was doing my doctoral program, I did a study with cancer patients and nurses. That kind of sparked my interest in the area of cancer and in particular, cancer prevention. The single most important cause of cancer is smoking. We know that if we could reduce smoking, we could reduce the incidence of probably at least 30% of cancers. In our current work, we're focusing on several groups where we think there are opportunities to promote and encourage people to stop smoking. One of these groups is expectant new fathers. Another group are relatives of lung cancer patients. Through that research, we've learned that there are probably new ways that we could use to motivate people to take that first step to reduce and stop smoking. When we've talked to fathers who smoke, we've learned that in the course of becoming a father, it prompts them to reflect on their smoking because they're thinking about what kind of father they want to be. And not surprisingly, many of these men want to be really good fathers. We began to talk with fathers about how we might help them. And based on their advice, we've begun to develop some resources that will resonate with men and encourage them to take that first step. Men told us they wanted to hear from other fathers. So we've started with a booklet. So we use some of the narratives from our research and we reflect those in the booklet as a way to engage men in a conversation with other men about thinking about reducing and stopping smoking in the context of fatherhood. The other thing that fathers told us was that they wanted to help each other quit smoking. And they wanted a group program. And so we developed a group program called Dads in Gear and thought we need to develop some resources that would mimic the kinds of experiences men would have in a group. So we've developed a website, again called Dads in Gear. And on that website, we've included some short YouTube style videos and a couple of those videos are of narratives of new fathers and their stories of stopping smoking. What we learned from men is that they wanted to make their own decisions. They don't want other people telling them how to quit smoking and when to quit. So we provide a number of ideas that other men have told us about in terms of how they quit smoking. And we basically say to the men in our groups, you know, it's up to you. You can decide what will work best for you. We've used a similar approach in developing resources to support relatives of lung cancer patients in terms of quitting smoking. We try to engage them through a resource that we've just developed in rethinking their smoking in the context of their family. Our hope is that through the work that we're doing, we draw attention to groups that we haven't really focused on before in terms of supporting smoking cessation, and that in fact, our smoking rates go down. That would be the best ending for this work.